Welcome back. The college outdoor track and field season was one of the first things called off due to the outbreak of coronavirus, which meant many seniors wouldn't get the chance to compete this season and finish their careers. Now, since then, the NCAA has come out and said those athletes can still come back next year if they so choose. And one of those seniors with that choice is South Dakota Olympic qualifier Chris Nelson, who has had a bit of a different reaction to recent events, as KCAU 9's Jacob Russo reports. For South Dakota pole vaulter Chris Nilsson, the end of his career in Vermilion was full of joy and full of heartbreak. He was named the Indoor Field Athlete of the Year, and the NCAA canceled the outdoor season for 2020. Not only that, but Chris's chance to compete in the Olympics was also pushed back. I was, you know, saddened, of course, like everybody else is, mainly about the rest of my NCAA season and the Olympics, but... I think that there was kind of some clarity that came along with it when everybody was talking about the dangers of, you know, not social distancing. On Monday, the NCAA announced that the spring sport athletes would be eligible to return for an extra year after their seasons were canceled. And while many are excited for another chance at their senior year, Chris is ready to move on to the next stage of his life. I don't think I will be taking it just because I'll be graduating here soon and probably moving on to, like, getting a, a real job and trying the whole professional pole vault circuit. And although his career with the Coyotes has come to an end, Chris knows that he wouldn't be where he is today without the university. I don't think I regret any single bit of the last four years I've been here. Um, and I think I'm a completely different person now. I probably took a full 180 from what I was in high school to now because of the mentors that I had, the friends that I made, and then the experiences that I had to go through. The next 16 months of Chris's life will be centered around preparing for the 2021 Olympics. And as far as his mindset goes, he's just taken all of the recent decisions in stride. I think the only change is just that we have to remain more patient because you know, we're kind of in a stalemate, so we can't really do anything. So just being prepared for whatever decides to come up is, I guess, the best thing to do. Chris's next stop is Tokyo, where he'll look to capture another championship, this time on the world's greatest stage. In Sioux City, Jacob Russo, KCAU 9 Sports.